2012 has already been a tough year for producers. The extreme dry conditions around the region mean poor grazing. The hay crops make an already tough year even tougher to bear. Everyone has to eat, but this year's extreme drought condition is making it hard for these horses to get fed. Horse hay's gotten quite high, um, and it's just not horse hay. Cattle hay's high. Julie Brown says buying hay for her four horses can cost anywhere from $120 to $170 a ton. Brown says the rising price is enough to chew through her pocketbook. For us, you know, it's $170 a ton is a lot. Not to mention, show horses require top-of-the-line feed. We try to feed a very high-quality hay, of course, to our show horses, and, and uh, it's very hard, difficult to find it. And uh, the price has gone from approximately $6 a bale for the small bales to $10 to $12 a bale. Which is why those in the horse showing business are forced to increase their rates for boarding. I'm lucky that people can afford to you know, when I raise the rate that they can afford to pay it, but it's scary too at the same time as to where where will it end. And with no precipitation or clear end to the drought in sight, horse enthusiasts say rising hay prices weren't going to keep them from bailing out on the Central States Fair. Everybody that been showing all summers here, so I don't think that that it's going to affect us for the hay, whether we're going to come to the fair or not. Expect to pay a premium price for necessities at the fair this year because fair managers say they have to transport hay from out of town and bring it back here. Helene? And any word on where they're getting that all precious hay? I'm told the hay is coming from Newell in North Dakota. Lucky them. Thank you, Taisha.